Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Today you join me. I'm actually nowhere. And what I mean by nowhere is I'm going nowhere in particular. I'm just out and trying to enjoy the fresh air that you normally get when you're out taking photos. Now, for the last couple of weeks, actually, I haven't been able to get out with the camera. In fact, the last time that I actually got out with my camera was when I went to Rocky Bay for that incredible sunrise that I witnessed. And I ended up getting two videos out of the one morning. Since then, I've gone for a couple of hikes with the friends of mine. Um, and I did a review video on a set of filters. And I haven't had the opportunity to get out for any long period of time. Now, the last two weeks as well, I was actually injured. So I injured my back and it was very difficult for me to go from seated to standing. So not only could I, could I not do that, but definitely couldn't go out and about carrying my camera bag on my shoulders. Thankfully, now I've managed to get a bit of corrective measures done. So I'm able to move now out and about. And without any plan, I just wanted to get out today just to breathe in some fresh air. We're just after actually a a uh, couple of storms so we had storm dudley and then we had storm eunice and storm eunice actually did seem to be the more powerful of the two we had a, quite a number of trees that were blown down and um you know power outages and everything else as well so quite ferocious winds but i'm out now the day after that and as you could see by the water here it is actually very very calm i'm surprised that it's so calm considering the storm has only just passed there's no real swells that are left in the ocean but nonetheless, I'm still going to go around and see what I can photograph anywhere today. I'm not going to be, like I say, going anywhere in particular. I'm probably going to drive around, spot a couple of areas, and maybe just, you know, do a quick piece of camera, take a couple of shots that are there and see what presents itself. So, yeah, the main thing for today really is, you know, get out, enjoy yourself, get some fresh air. And if you get some pictures, then that's a bonus. So the first stop now that I've come to is a place called Fountainstown. And it's in Cork and it's a place I would have come to when I was a lot younger. And I've come down here and just to see where the action would have been. And it's quite a busy beach actually, there's a lot of families and stuff around. But what I've decided to do is just to take three shots actually from here. So there's two bits of the headland, some nice houses as well that are on the cliffside. And on the other side as well, I've got the sun. So it's shining right above a set of trees and getting a nice bit of a silhouette uh, of those trees. And I'll hopefully aim to see if I can get a photograph of uh, a wave breaking underneath that. And then the final thing that I'm going to do is a thing called ICM. And there's a lady called Stephanie Johnson who I've known for many years. And she's really devoted her time over the last number of years into ICM. It's intentional camera movement. And because there's not much action or light, what I decided to do is try and take a photograph of that. I've changed my shutter speed to a around a quarter of a second and as I take the shot you pan the camera from left to right and that gives you a nice bit of movement as well yet you keep some of the texture as well it's in the water it might work let's see how it goes anyway but yeah three shots in here from my first spot anyway here breathing in the lovely sea air as well is great for the mind and great for the body so I'll show you these three shots we'll head on and we'll find somewhere else now to take some photographs next spot now that I've come up to is just around the corner actually from Fountainstown and it's called Murtaville and it is a place where you can get some lovely views going across of Cork Harbour and right between the trees just up here you have Roaches Point Lighthouse. Now we're going to continue on and we're going to get closer to that lighthouse anyway to get a couple of shots of it but from here I've taken a couple of quick snapshots anyway because you can see all of the old houses that are right next to that as well and again look we're in flat light so there's not going to be anything major great shakes from an image point of view but it's about just getting out getting the camera getting used to it again and taking some photographs and hopefully you're enjoying coming along and seeing the areas that i'm going to show you that are on my doorstep here in cork
just realised now that the last time that I flew my drone was probably around about four or five months ago and it actually felt a bit rusty flying the drone when I was up over the church. It's actually up over behind me here. I'll give you a look in a moment actually where the church is in comparison to where I am right now. But where I am now at the moment here is just above a place called Fennels Bay and Church Bay is below me. And Church Bay is a spot that I wanted to come and take photographs a number of months back actually, but I got a bit distracted along the way. Um, and what you have is a view over here at Roaches Point Lighthouse. And that was the same lighthouse that we'd spotted when we were over on the far side over here. And we've kind of come around full circle and we're able to get a bit closer now as well to it. Today as well for my photographs, all I've used is handheld with my 7200. I didn't use a tripod in relation to it. I didn't set up anything normally like I would for a typical photo shoot. Just purely getting out and showing you guys the beautiful areas that we have around us here in Cork Harbour. It's great to get back out again. You know, I really want to be able to fix the time it's built to get out but I'm really under pressure uh, from a normal work point of view as well so it's very difficult for me to be able to find time to get out. In fact I was going to get out this morning and check in forecast it was raining. I woke up and I had a look as well outside it was blanket grey cloud and I said you know what I won't bother going and now look at how quick it actually can change. I don't know if there was a sunrise or not I actually went back to sleep but it's early morning right now anyway um, but the sun is still quite high I'm coming close to around about 11 11.30 in the morning, so almost noon really. But I've been driving around different areas that I'd normally frequent, and it's good actually, you know, just to kind of get back out, ease myself back into it, get a couple of shots as well along the way. Um, below me down here as well, Church Bay is a beautiful spot for sunrise because the sun will rise directly behind Roaches Point Lighthouse also in the distance, and you can get some really nice shots. We've got some nice rocks as well there on the beach below me as well. So it's been really good, like I say, to get back out. I hope you've enjoyed coming along on the journey with me. Hopefully I'll be normal service resumed quite shortly. Um, and I hope you can join me as well for that. If it's your first time on my channel, please hit the subscribe button. Give me a like, give me a comment. And until the next time, Slonga Fall.